Hello, this is Megha and today we are learning about vector addition um, with the components, okay. So vector is a quantity which is having direction and magnitude both, okay. So what's the difference between a scalar quantity and the vector quantity? Scalar quantity are the quantities which is having only magnitude whereas the vector quantity is a quantity which is having direction and magnitude both. For example, speed is a scalar quantity whereas your velocity is a vector quantity because it is having magnitude and direction both. Distance is a scalar quantity whereas your displacement is a vector quantity. So, uh, for example, when you are going around the circle, you come uh, start from one point and come back to the same point, your distance will become 2 pi r whereas your displacement will become 0 because you came to the same point, your direction factor will become 0. So that's why your displacement will become 0. Okay, so we are talking about the vector addition. There are two components, okay. We are doing graphically also, uh, but uh, it's much more easier if you will do component by component, okay. Graphical representation is for understanding uh, how it goes, what it is, how it will be. But when you do component by component, it will be much, much more easier. So let's see how it goes, okay. So here I have two vectors. One is vector A and vector B. So vector A has a component x component of 6 and y component of 2. Uh, vector B has a x component of 2 and y component of 5. Even though if it is given in the magnitude also, you can change in the x component and the y component and then it will be very easy to add up. Okay, uh, so how we will calculate the resultant vector then? So we will add up the x component of both the vectors and y component of both the vectors. Okay, so first of all, I'll draw this uh, vector, a vector. Okay, so x component of the a vector is 6. So I already mark it, okay, and the y component of 2. So I already mark it. So let's see how it will be. It will be like this, this is my x axis and this is my y axis. So horizontal axis is always x axis and vertical axis is always y axis. Okay, so now uh, for vector v, my x component is 2, I already mark on the x axis and my y component is 5, that also I marked it. So how it goes? It is shorter and very tall vector, yes. So. As you can see the y component is 5, x component is 2. So for my resultant vector, I add up my x component which is resultant uh, vector x component. So it will be ax plus bx which is 6 plus 2 which is equals to 8. Okay, now what is my y factor of the resultant is ay plus b y and it will be a y is 2 and my b y is 5 which is equals to 7 newton okay so my uh, x component is 8 newton and my y component is 7 newton so here i already mark it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, uh, 6 7 and 8 so because 8 newton on the x axis and 7 newton on the y axis. So let's see how it will be. This will be my resultant factor. Whereas my x component is 8 newton and y component is 7 newton. If I will draw from if this I need to see is it making sense or no. So if I will put this tail to here and this will be like it will go like almost like this. Yes, this uh, back vector B will go something like this and this is my A vector and my resultant vector should come like something like this, right? So my resultant vector, is it a same thing? This one and this one, this my resultant vector. Is it a same? Is it looking very same? Yes, it is exactly same. So what I have done is correct. Uh, I got my resultant vector. Now, in the successive video, I will calculate its magnitude and direction both, the angle, because I need to calculate this angle also. 
how much is the angle and I need to calculate the magnitude of this vector also. So that I am um, you know calculating in the successive video. I hope you understand how to calculate the resultant vector with the x component and the y component. Um, no need for graphical representation. Graphical representation is only for your understanding and it will be very easy with the component. Um, once I get my resultant vector, uh, my x component is 8 and my y component is 7. So my resultant vector is, as you can see, it's this, okay. So it's this one, you get the idea, right? So this is my resultant vector, okay. Now, if I want to calculate the magnitude and of course the direction, how I'm going to calculate it, okay. So uh, basically, if you will see, I, I can use Pythagoras theorem here because see, this is my 90 degree angle opposite uh, side is my, you know, perpendicular, whatever left is my adjacent and the 90 degree opposite will be my hypotenuse. So here what I need to calculate is my, is hypotenuse means the length of this vector, if you can see it. Huh? So I made a video on the Pythagoras theorem also you can check it out okay so how we can calculate the hypotenuse here um, hypotenuse is equals to under root of perpendicular square plus adjacent square okay mm, this is the pythagoras uh, hypotenuse how i am going to calculate my hypotenuse which is actually the magnitude of the resultant vector this is the magnitude of the magnitude of the resultant vector okay so this is my hypotenuse actually in this so here what is what is that this is this is the one is as you can see 7 newton the vertical factor okay and this is my horizontal factor which is 8 newton so 7 square plus 8 square 7 square is 7 7 is a 49 8 square is 8 8 is a 64 when you add up you will get under root of 1 1 3 and once you will calculate it you will get 10.6 once you will ca calculate in the calculator you will get 10.6 so the magnitude of the resultant factor as you can see is 10.6 i got 10.6 now what about the direction then so a direction sokatoha now here the sokatoha also work in the vectors okay so here, as you can see, I need to calculate this angle. Okay, so what is, uh, I can calculate here, yes. So 10 theta, okay. What is 10 theta? Perpendicular upon adjacent. Hmm? So what will be my theta? 10 inverse, my perpendicular is 7 and my adjacent is 8. So once I'll calculate theta is equals to 10 inverse 7 by 8, what I should, what I will get, uh, if you will calculate in the calculator, uh, you will get 41.18 degrees, okay. So, I repeat uh, here, I am using Soka Doha, okay. Now, what is 10 theta? 10 theta is perpendicular upon adjacent, okay. Now, my perpendicular, I already marked, which is 7 Newton and adjacent is 8 newton and when i do 10 inverse 7 by 8 i get 41.8 okay so i got my theta also theta is showing the direction of the vector and i have to see whether it is aligned or not okay uh, 41.8 this angle is 41.8 is it looking like 41.8 is it looking like yes so yeah i feel it can be uh, because it's not an exact diagram once you will do in a proper um, graph uh, you can get 41 and I think it is almost 41.8 so it's fine um, so I get my theta okay with the help of Sukha uh, I can calculate 10 inverse and magnitude I got with the help of Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean theorem is nothing but hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square and I calculate my magnitude of the vector also. So that's how I calculate magnitude and direction of the vector. I hope it will be helpful for you. 